At ANZ's new AI centre, workers are eager to learn. The lesson today is how to use artificial intelligence to process loan applications more quickly and easily. Whenever you apply for a loan, we have to pick up all sorts of information such as pay slips, proof of employment, uh, complex loan contracts. AI can now allow us to actually take information from documents and extract a lot of that meaning and cutting the amount of time it takes from hours and hours down to sometimes mere seconds. CBA was one of the first big four banks to come out publicly and say it's trialling a chat GPT style AI chatbot in its call centres, creating fears it could replace thousands of local call centre staff. At ANZ, AI acts as an over the shoulder assistant for about 1,200 call centre workers. People have used this technology to very quickly summarise everything about what the, customer, the bank has on file for the customer to help them answer the customer's questions more quickly and more reliably. National Australia Bank is also using AI to interpret customer inquiries. If you're taking a call and a customer is agitated or they're upset or they've just, you know, they're relatively neutral, our vision is that we'll be able to service that up to our bankers so they kind of understand what their call is about that they're about to take and also be give the right level of empathy to customers. There's not enough transparency in the information that's coming through. But there are concerns about the way AI is being used. The Union for Finance Sector Workers wants more transparency from the banks, including about how people's jobs will change. And it's worried using AI for sentiment analysis can be misleading. One of our members was having a phone call with one of their customers and they made a very mundane comment about the weather, how it, unfortunately it's raining at the moment. The AI said was that this was a negative customer interaction because they used the word unfortunately. Although it is called artificial intelligence, it still does need that human oversight. The boss of this tech startup is using an AI tool he created to help super funds assess a customer's financial position. He wants to pitch it to the big four banks, but concedes it would replace some roles. The idea of thinking that this technology will not have an impact on the job market, I think it's ludicrous. Of course, there is going to be an impact. AI consultant Joe Sweeney says there's also a risk that it strays into financial advice. It's an idiot plagiarist at best. Now the danger, particularly for financial institutions or any institution that is governed by certain codes of behavior, is that those AIs will make mistakes. If those mistakes are in breach of regulation, then those organizations have a real problem. The rapid pace at which AI is advancing means the technology is moving faster than the regulation. The European Union has already introduced some laws to regulate artificial intelligence, a model Australia could consider. Australia's Human Rights Commissioner is working with our big banks to remove bias from any AI processes. We'd be particularly concerned with respect to home loans, for example, that you could have disadvantage in terms of people from lower socioeconomic areas. There could be racial discrimination, disability discrimination, gender discrimination. Naturally, we're going to be pretty conservative on some of these ANZ's things. Tim Hogarth says the risks are being carefully weighed up. I don't think that's likely to happen in the next five to ten years of having a home loan completely decided by a machine. I think it's very likely though that the way we're going to buy homes will be fundamentally different. A difference customers will soon start to see when they interact with Australia's biggest lenders.